Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, and in today's video, we're going to be doing our baby paper doll tutorial part 2. Let's get started. As always, we need our paper, our markers, our scissors, our pencil, and our color pencils. Now, this is not all of the items. We also have our tape. Our tape is very important to seal in designs and attach different pieces. And lastly, you're going to need your blank baby paper doll. And you can actually find this new item at funblindbag.com. Once you type in funblindbag.com, you'll find everything you need to complete this tutorial. Once you have our new paper doll baby base, you can make an infinite amount of baby paper dolls at home. Continuing with our tutorial, you're going to get your paper and your baby paper doll base and we're going to be tracing over each part of our paper doll base, starting off with the body. So we're about done stenciling out each part of our paper doll baby and we have the body, pacifier, diaper, and the head done. Once you're done drawing the perimeter lines of your doll, we're going to move into the interior lines like the arm, the belly button, and so on. If you're having trouble seeing through the paper, if your paper is a little too thick, you could always get an iPad or a bright light and then put your paper over the design and as you can see, it's much more clear and we can easily trace over our design. I suggest tracing just to save time and also increase accuracy but if you don't have an iPad or a bright light you could always still eyeball it and draw what you see side by side. Next, we're going to move on to our marker. After we're done stenciling, you're going to get the thick marker and we're going to start off with the outside lines. So once you're done stenciling out the perimeter of your base, you're going to move on to our thin marker and we're going to get in all of the other small details. Once you're done tracing over everything with marker, you're going to get your eraser and you're just going to erase any pencil lines that you can still see.
After you're done erasing all of your pencil marks, you're going to get your color pencil and you're going to color in your baby doll body. Now depending on what material paper you're using, you can actually use other materials like watercolor paint, you can use acrylic paint, you can use whatever you have at home to color in your paper doll. So now I'm moving on to the diaper and this is my first time using stickers to design the diaper. I know majority of diapers are plain white with some little designs on it but I know that there are some diapers out there that have a lot of intricate designs so I just scattered around some heart stickers and I'm just going to color the straps with blue and I'm also going to decorate the pacifier with the same color design. So after you're done coloring in everything, you're going to move on to the sealing part. We're going to get our clear tape and we're going to seal in each and every design that you made. Now this step is very crucial because if you skip this step, your paper doll is not going to really last that long and we want this to last for a very very long time. If you notice, if you've been watching me for a long time, I've kept so many of my paper dolls, even my very first paper doll is still kept with me and it's all because I sealed it with tape. Now if you want to visit funblindbag.com, you can get the tape that I use or you can go anywhere where they sell clear tape. But after you seal in your design, we're gonna cut everything out. And as you see, I'm fast forwarding it, so make sure you're not going at the same speed as the video. Make sure you take your time during this step. So once you're done cutting everything out, we're going to attach all of the pieces together, starting with the head and the body. You're going to get a little piece of tape, you're going to fold it inwards on each other until both sides are sticky, and then you're going to place your tape on the neck part of the doll. And then you're just going to press down the head, and it should be secure. repeat the same process with the baby diaper and the pacifier. So you may be wondering why did I make the head and the body detachable? Well that's because on my shop I also have a swaddle that you can purchase. It's the V5 paper doll and it allows your baby to look like it's in a little wrap. So if you decide to purchase both V5 and V6, you'll have the option to switch it up whenever you please. So with this baby, I'm not going to switch around the body and put the swaddle on it, so I'm just going to put an extra piece of tape to ensure that it stays secured. So I didn't want to leave my baby bald, so I just got this little piece of hair and we're going to attach this to our baby. We're going to turn the baby around and we're going to add a piece of tape on the back of the head like so. And then after you do that, to give the hair extra support so it's not falling backwards, we're going to get a piece of tape and we're going to fold it into each other to make that little, I don't know what it's called, but we're just going to make it sticky on both sides so it can stay on the head like so. And I'm just going to press down on the head because I don't want the hair like out in the air. And I actually think the hair made the baby even cuter. What do you guys think? 
Also, one of you guys suggested that I make a little herring aid for the baby, so I just made this off screen real quick, and I think it turned out really cute. And that was the tutorial, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you'd like to see more tutorials, leave a like and subscribe. So I just wanted to, you know, plug myself some more. I do have a section coming up on my shop for the baby dolls. I noticed that the baby dolls are the only ones with bodies, like full on bodies, and I don't want them to be like in a diaper alone. So I'm going to make a section where you can purchase outfits for your babies. And the max that I'm going to go up to is $5, but majority of the outfits will be like a dollar and some change. So if you want some outfits for your baby, you can visit filmmymag.com and you can make your baby look finessed. Yeah, let's move on to the next section because we actually have a little giveaway. You get a chance to take home your own customizable paper doll. Every 1,000 likes we get, I pick a new person to win their own baby paper doll. Also, if we get 500k subs, I will give away 10 baby paper dolls. To enter into the giveaway, all you have to do is leave a white and red emoji like Luke's hair so I know that you entered into the giveaway. And lastly, don't forget to look at the pinned comment in the comment section so you can get more info on the giveaway. But hopefully you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!